Well, the sea area that is performing here just a few moments. Known as the Shard, it's a single seat, single engine, vertical, and short field takeoff and landing fighter aircraft designed for the British Royal Navy, specifically for the service aboard their aircraft carriers. Now, the V-Stall is for vertical, as we said, short takeoff and landing. But you'll often see it designated as a V, then slash S-T-O-L, V-Stall. It's a vertical, short takeoff and landing. In layman's terms, it means the airplane can hover. It can just jump up off the ground, often called the jump jet effect. Now, aircraft like this were used in the war between the UK and Argentina back in 1982. Now on takeoff roll, ladies and gentlemen, here in just a few seconds, Mr. Art Knowles and the Sea Harrier. second one to roll off the assembly line back in March of 1979. Now in private hands, completely demilitarized, this char is operated by Art Nalls, a retired Marine Corps aviator who actually flew the Harrier back when he was in active service. You can find out more about it at NallsAviation.com. Team Char, out there wearing the red shirts, Making it happen, 280 knots, I'm told, right here. Watch this pass as Art Nalls and the Sea Harrier return to Culpepper. Come on, Culpepper, make some noise for Mr. Art Nalls and Team Shar. Washington, D.C. After graduating from Hayfield High School, he was nominated to attend the United States Naval Academy there in Annapolis, Maryland, where he majored in aerospace engineering. He was a natural since he always had a deep interest in aviation. And while attending Annapolis, Art was awarded a Guinness Book of World Record. Uh, I should say for riding, get this, the world's smallest bicycle. Today, though, he's flying the sea here. A far stretch from that bike. But one of Art's proudest honors was that of being inducted into the Golden Wings. An elite group of about 150 and 50 military from the Joining the ranks of the best. You have to be invited to be a Golden Wings member. Again, 50 Marine Corps aviators in that group and 150 in the Navy. Making Art not only a, a rare aircraft operator, but a very rare aviator indeed. As a member of the elite Golden Wings group. Sets back up for his next pass. Watch as Team Shar maneuvers into position down here on the ground. Again, all of these men and women, a volunteer crew, keeping this aircraft in the air. They also have a dual seat Sea Harrier, which will be making its debut hopefully next year or the year after. But right now, they're the only team in the world that can take care of a privately owned Sea Harrier. Watch now as Art Nalls sets up for his next maneuver. He flew the Harrier while he was in the Marine Corps. Wait, never mind, that's a bird. Where is it? After he acquired this one, learned how to operate the Sea Harrier. 
The Sea Harrier, a little more nimble than its American counterpart. It's a shorter wing, it's actually faster than the American Harrier. Here he is on the climb. You can see just how nimble and narrow the wings are on this tiny little jet. Fast and quick, but you can imagine it's a handful. It's always the turnaround maneuvers you have to watch right down there to the right. Art working hard, pulling the G's to get it back in here quickly and expeditiously. Arnal's now setting up for what looks like a photo pass. Sounds like it too. Here it comes now from the right. This is going to be a great opportunity. Perfect background for this pass. Take a look. cool to see a Harrier fly fast. It's really great to see it go low. But most of you are here to watch it do the impossible and hover. We are soon to see that as Team Char positions themselves to trap the aircraft here in a few moments. Right now though, Art calling out air speeds. That could only mean one thing. When Art starts talking about air speeds, He's setting up for something fun. Watch now. Uh, I wish I could find it. I like From it. the left. Demonstration. Here in a few seconds. Sounds like a, maybe a four point roll this time. For those of you that can hear Art in the cockpit, you can hear how loud it is in this particular aircraft. Often hard to understand it when he's flying this thing because of the noise. Just imagine he's trying to call up the tower. But right now we should see a, uh, a hesitation roll, is what it sounds like. Oftentimes in these Harriers, they'll use distilled water to help cool the engine as it's in hover mode or in a high power setting. And you'll see some black 
smoke. Not to be alarmed, it's the water vapor burning off. Dirtied up there by the water. Now his heart starts to slow down a little bit from the speed of heat. We'll see him enter the hover portion of, uh, of today's demonstration. You heard him talking about the water there, so the water is on. Now we're ready for the hover demonstration. You heard Art checking in. Our air boss up there in his luxury suite told him the winds. Team Shar checked in. Everybody's ready now for the hover. Let's watch as Art Nalls, Team Shar, and the Sea Harrier. Again, celebrating a hundred years of the Royal Air Force. This year, the Sea Harrier, a notable friend over there, part of the Royal Navy, the shipboard version of the Harrier that we operate here in the United States. Same designer, had a lot to do with the hurricane that you see, sitting back here on the ramp as well. Hard to believe, 1930s technology meeting 1960s technology right here, the same designer working on both aircraft. It's going to be hard to hear, but Art's going to hover this thing. He directs those nozzles down low, enabling the Harrier to hover. And I believe he'll even execute the hover landing. Let's watch now as Art falls in the sea here. Perform the hover routine. questions you might have here in a few moments. A quick programming note, the Spitfire in the Hurricane will be starting up here directly at Show Center. If you are sitting behind these airplanes, when those big spinning things on the front start up, it's going to get a little windy. So 
take heed. You've got some young ones, you might want to turn them around backwards so they don't get anything in their eye. You might want to do the same thing yourself. Unless you like a little Spitfire wind in your face, uh, just be, be aware that that thing is going to start up. And the, I think the hurricane's going to start up as well. So it's not an ideal uh, situation, but it is, it is what we're dealing with right now. So just be careful there. that the bow that Art Knowles did there in that routine is dedicated to a fallen aviator. 